Hi everyone, in this video we're going to create a go-kart body. So we're going to start with a LinkedIn uh, go-kart frame here. And from there, I'm uh, going to model the body. And to do that, I'm going to go to the Create Form tool. It's going to enter the Sculpt environment. And I'm going to start with creating a plane. And I want to put that plane on the ground reference. So I want to orbit to where I can see that, click on the ground. That's selected. Now I want to click on the center point, get the blue square to snap onto that center point, click one time, pull away, and I'm just going to draw a rectangle at that point, click a second time, and there it is. The default of two by two faces is perfect. I'm going to say OK with that. Now I've got that face. That's going to be the start of this go-kart. I'm going to do a couple things to it. First I'm going to add a symmetry mirror internal. I'm going to say this left side is the same as the right side and say OK. I'm going to double click it to select the whole thing. Right click and say move copy. I'm going to move this and it's going to be my hood of this go-kart. So I'm going to use the arrows. Be careful to keep it right centered with the go-kart. If I use this white square that's going to keep it on the same centered axis but let me move it up and down. So something like that. Looks good, so I'm going to say OK. Now here's the tricky part. This is a bit of sculpting and it takes uh, some getting used to for sure. But I'll give you a couple pointers and it'll take a little bit of trial and error to experiment with this. But uh, the trick I found is if I say edit form, I can click on the different edges uh, of this body and if I hold uh, command or control, I can grab more than one. And if I hold Alt while moving, I can add material. So it's Alt on my Alt key. You can't see me do that, but I'm pressing the Alt key on my keyboard and it lets me add material by selecting an edge and then moving. I can grab another edge and uh, continue to do that. Now, I can move these edges once I've created them into place however I'd like to form them. Now the one thing to keep in mind is you want four-sided four -sided surfaces as you go along doing this. So you want to keep that pattern. I've got symmetry turned on, so I can, if I click on one, I can grab another, or sometimes I can grab both if I want to. And if I hold Alt, again I can add material. Okay, so I've got a couple problems here and I can fix those, there is a Modify Weld Vertices tool. And I can draw a box around vertices I want to weld. And you can see that fixed that issue. Now this one's a bit uh, more touchy. You can see it's they're kind of far apart there. But if I orbit to the right view, I'm able to draw a box around uh, both of these or clear out that selection. This one welds to this one. And there we go. And I count them. One, two, three, four sides. It's happy. Uh, it's good to go. So I'll say OK on that. I'll keep going. I can grab this edge now and I can say Edit Form. And I can hold Alt on my keyboard. Alt is going to add material. Start to create the side of the body here. I might want to rotate that or one little trick if I scale I can straighten towards an axis. So I can do that. Grab a few more panels here. I'm holding Alt again while I move. Notice it's building the other side because I have symmetry turned on. I'm going to delete that edge here. I'm going to say OK. Delete. Sometimes it's good if you want to move it first and then add an edge. Hold Alt again. I'm going to do one more on mine. You want to minimize the number of faces, but sometimes you need a couple extra. So say OK on that. I'm going to grab this top edge and again holding Alt after I say Edit Form and Move. Hold Alt and Move. It's going to add in here. I'm going to bring these close, but not quite touching there. And use my little trick again. 
uh, modify weld vertices. I can grab these top two. You can see it goes to box mode, and if you get that, it's broken. It can't compute or resolve that surface. Uh, that can be okay. Like here, I did one, and that broke it, but if I do another one here, now it's back together again. If I say okay, each one of these faces has four sides. And let's do the back. Again, I'm going to click an edge, right-click, edit form, hold down alt to drag that down. Now I've got the back here. You can see it's kind of messed up. Uh, that's because these vertices are not welded. So I'm going to go modify and do the weld vertices. I'm going to grab these two and these two and it's all good again. Great. So I've got the basic outline of this car and every face is four-sided so it stays nice and curvy and everything looks pretty good. Uh, so now I can make a few modifications to make this look better. So I can double click to grab the entire ring in the bottom and if I say edit form, remember that trick from before if I scale which are these little lines on my triad here, I can scale towards an axis. And that's going to flatten that bottom out and I can move it down to where that wants to be. Good trick is to go to different views and uh, see if you have what you're expecting by going to the different views. Might do that to the top as well. Flatten that out a bit. And of course I want to make sure my frame is completely covered so I have to move things up or down and get the design I'm going for. Like maybe I want to rake this whole thing forward. I can double click to grab that entire top edge and I can roll the whole thing forward, give it a more prominent track stance there. We can go back and forth. You can you know, scale back to an axis and rotate uh, to get those in place. Now a little bit of this I, I like to think of as aluminum foil. You want to think in big picture moves. If you start to move you know, individual pieces, it's like aluminum foil, it can start to wrinkle on you and get tough to manage and maybe not look how you'd like to. So grab big portions, use the scale versus moving things individually and you'll get some better results. Alright, so that's looking pretty good. Happy with that. I can say OK on my editing. And the last step, and this might also cause problems, and you might have to go back and make some corrections, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try this here, is I go to Modify, Thicken, I select that edge. I'm going to give this a thickness. I'm going to go in. I'm going to go minus 5 for minus 5 millimeters and say OK. And most of the time that should be fine. If you have a really complex body, the thicken might have it overlap itself. And so I'll just illustrate that. Sometimes it can be hard to see, but this will be obvious here. You can see it starts to overlap. You can see this line here. If anything like that happens, you might have to go in and pull the lines apart to untangle them. Maybe create a little extra thickness uh, to get that. Let's go ahead and try that. I'm going to say finish form. And you can see I get some of those. So I can say uh, uh, return and I can try to fix some of those. You can see I have this big overlap. I'm going to undo because I know that I had simply caused that issue. And I'll say finish form.